Hello and welcome back to European Novellus for El Dorado. So, I believe we're still waiting for our manpower to recover before we can go off and do some wars. It's been a little bit since I last played, so forgive me a couple seconds for working out where we're at. I think we're planning to attack Morocco again at some point. What is our truce? Two, no, it's two years with Seuss. We've got 11 years with Morocco, so... What are we going to do? Seuss likes us quite a lot. Would they become our vassal? Vassalage. Um, okay, we need to get them to 190. Did we get them 100 more? Uh, they got a lot. We don't have enough base tax to get them as a vassal, so we're going to have to conquer them separately. What's our truce of them? Two years. Uh, I wonder if we can get a claim on them. Hmm. We'll find out in a bit. Torquemada and the expulsion of the Moors. After having expelled the Jews on the 3rd of August 1492, the Catholic sovereignties of Spain considered it was time to look after the Moors provinces of Al Andalus, the southern part of the peninsula, the peninsula from old Muslim kingdoms of Valencia, and above all, Granada. With the renewal of the Inquisition led by Tomás de Torquem by Torquemada, Spain became a country of religious fanatics where agricultural work and crafts were considered labourers unworthy of Christians. Forced conversions followed as well as enslavement, torture and executions where many were burned at stake. In the wake of these persecutions, many thousands left Spain. Okay, so we can say, let us be rid of those we cannot trust. We gain some Catholic prop. Are these not already Catholic? No, they are Sunni, okay. And we get some unrest in those provinces. How much unrest do we get from them being... So we actually get more unrest from them being Sunni than we do from this. Okay. Lose tax 33% and 40% tax modifier manpower. So we lose a little bit more tax and manpower. The Moors turn to... Col the Moors turn to collect to Telemkin. What's the Moors? The Moors turn to Telemkin. Okay, and let me read this again. Somewhere in here it says something about the Moors. Where's the game? So, if I read this right, we just convert these three provinces. I don't know what the Moors turn to Clempton is. Maybe that's just the ca Catholicism gains plus 2% Reform Bazaar. Or, we get one stability. I think we're going to take this one. Yeah, okay. So these are now Catholic. And the unrest should be lower because they're Catholic now. I think that's right. I still don't know what the Moors turn to Telemkin is. Maybe they get something. Oh, a truce of Telemkin has ended. That's good. Can we attack them again? They're allied with Morocco, so we could possibly get Morocco into another war here. Uh, let's stop improving relations with Mazab. Right. Couple of seconds. Right, do we have a reason to declare war? No. Okay. We're not... I think we need to get to this one. Yeah, the permanent cast spell against neighbouring heathens and heretics. So that would give us the thing against Telemkin, because we share a sea border. And that's how it works. But we're not going to get that for a while. I uh, don't need that. So we can't actually declare war on Telemkin for that. We could fabricate a claim on Telemkin and try to learn war that way. But there's no guarantee Morocco would join in anyway. Or it could work. We do need to get our manpower up, though. So, yeah. We'll leave it for just now. Continue improving relations with Mazab. Right. Let it carry on. Just speed up everything a little bit. Okay, Lord meta relations over time, that's not very good. 
We're still close to this disaster, but I think we'll be able to get it to go away. Yeah, we just... Once we get this... Um... So, Presence War... Over extensions less... We'll lose a lot of the increasing once this core finishes. And Rebel Uprising Morocco Patriots. They will rise very soon. Is there something we can do about it? Not really. What we might want to do is... Well, we do have armor. I thought we didn't have armor maintenance it raised, but... Yeah, I guess we just kind of sit and wait. Hopefully when this core finishes, that will also lower the unrest in this province, which will then mean that we'll be able to like, survive there. Our truce with England has ended. We can declare war on them without additional penalties. Good. Uh, we don't really have a way to declare war on England, but it's useful to know. Uh, 30 admin power for army tradition, morale of armies, money. I think this is worth it. Although we're trying to save up admin power, that's definitely a very useful event to have. Oh, yes, we can put a trade embargo on England now. Because they are our rival. Yup. Issue embargo. Done. That'll get us a bit more power projection. Uh, do we have an insult, Kath? Uh, insult to rival. It's still there, but we could get it to go higher. We don't really need it right now. When this drops below 25, we could just knock it up again, but it's no, it doesn't really matter too much. Let's continue improving relations with Mazab. When can we annex them? How long have they been a vassal? So in seven more years, we can annex them, if we want to do that. I don't think we do. I think we want to feed them a little bit more. So. Just let that go on. Um, okay. Who? Just double checking our allies and things. So Sweden. They still like us. Spain. We might want to improve relations with Portugal. After we finish this fabrication here. Just to try and keep them on our, our good side. We don't really want anyone dropping down. What have we got? Annexed Orleans and Aragon Annexed Urbino. Uh, we kind of want these popping up. When a country disappears, we'd quite like that. Aragon has a lot of land. It'd be nice if the Iberian Wedding would uh, go through. Perfect! We gained the province, which now means if we go to this one, there is no progress each month towards the disaster. It still keeps its current progress, but it doesn't actually like tick up. So we're not going to disaster just yet. The unrest has gone down a little bit here. Not a lot. It's still going to be it's 1.4 years now. Crusade against Iran. Oran? Anyway. Early in the 16th century, Cardinal Francisco Jimenez de Cineros set his sights on the North African coast, a region where his religious zeal could find an outlet that now the Reconquista was over in Spain. Now that the Reconquista was over in Spain. He personally organized and financed a crusade against the wealthy city of Oran, the port of Mers el Carib. Uh, maybe. Uh, was captured in 1505, and in 1509, a strong force accompanied by Serranos himself, and led by the Condotereri, Pedro Navarro, finally took over Iran in an assault. Anyway, we get claim on Waran. Where is Waran? Oh, it's here. It's Telemkin. We just got a claim on this province, didn't we? Yeah, we have a claim. That's the reason to declare war. Maybe we have to wait till the end of the month before it will allow that to be true. There it is. Why is that noise? Okay, anyway. War goal, take war on. The allied with Morocco. It will help them. Torture it. Who are their vassals? Okay. 
Well, Portugal will join in. France won't because it's too far away. And Sweden won't because it's way too far away. Um, it seems like a good war to do. We'll get Morocco in another war. We can start taking some of their provinces. Piece them out separately. Can't call them in, call them in as co-belligerent, but we can piece them out separately. How, much, how many claims do we have on them? A fair number. We could get a border with Seuss, which would then allow us to attack them and spread down the coast. Uh, do Seuss have that annoying... Yeah, they have increased coring costs. Right. We're going to declare war on Telemkin. Take war out. Pause. So we captured two ships. That's good. Two barks. Perfect. Right. Uh, we want these to actually be pop-ups. Those to be pop-ups. These to be pop-ups. And we want these to be pop-ups. Perfect. Continuing our war. Just the attacking them in their fleet there. Okay, where are we going to go first? I think we might just let Portugal bring their men over first. That seems like a good plan. Mission selected. Become the Papal Controller. Chief of Religious Unity. Nah, that's not going to happen. Um, neither of those are really going to happen. So let's take one and cancel it. I'll be fine. Hmm. Stop sub Nah, I don't really care about that one. It's interesting to know that they're trying to get their air on uh, Poland's throne, but we don't really need to know about it. I'm just going to turn the effect volume down a little bit because it's uh, sounds like it's a little high. Turn the overall volume. Maybe ambient. Yeah, just change the volumes a little bit. Hopefully that's alright and haven't made the music too loud. I'll try and solve it in uh, post. Okay. Let's defend... Sayuta. Got a better general. Yeah, a little bit better. Do they still have lower military tech? Yes. So this should be nice and easy. Sorry to do this again, but I think I definitely made music too loud for me. Okay. Take out their armies. Lots of war score from doing that. Let's see. Losing the second war score, but we're still doing fine. Ideally, we want to piece Morocco out first. So, let's do that. Uh, looks like Austria and Venice are rivals, I'm guessing. Just doing the trade and borrow thing when you both become rivals. So, what are Telemkin doing? Run away. Oh, they're sieging Mazab. Okay. That kind of makes sense. Yeah, well, we'll just do what we did last time. We'll let Portugal siege for us. They seem to do a good job of it. They seem to be enjoying themselves. So we'll just let them do it. Um, yeah. I'm trying to think what else we could do. We don't really want to lower our manpower, so this is pretty much our choice. France are annexing all their vassals. Do they have any left? Uh, not that one, this one. Uh, yeah, they have a few left to annex, but they're getting really strong. Uh, not too much border friction, though. That's good. Claim our rival's province, Perino. Okay, we can do that. 
send the person who's at Mazab away to do that. Uh, fabricate claim on Perino. There we go. That should work out pretty well. Portugal is seizing, seizing quite quickly, which is fairly good. Although, Telemkin are doing it a little bit quicker. I think we should be able to piece out uh, Morocco That's pretty soon. Uh, this one. Mile of Armies there. That's not good. We do have a claim on Molina. And Portugal does not. So they'll transfer the, uh, the troll of the province to us. If we want them to. Uh, we should probably start coring the other two provinces. Oh. Can't do it while we're at war. Hmm. That's not good. So we definitely don't want to lose manpower. Otherwise after the war we'll be in a chance. We'll have a chance of getting a disaster. Regency Council now rules Aragon. Okay. I wonder if that means the uh, Iberian Wedding will start soon. Event chain will start soon. I think it's when somebody dies and he got certain set up. Hmm. Maybe we don't have it still. Should probably look that up. We're uh, still sieging down this province, and we got it. They transferred trade, uh, trade. They transferred control of the province to us, which is good. Uh, that's one of the ones we want. Because we quite like that one and Mex, if we want Fez. On the other hand, we took cake uh, Menex and Tadala. Or Tadla. Oh, missionary strength is up. That's good. Uh, we don't actually have the ability to... We still can't quite do it. Where is it? I'll just to convert. 0% chance of converting. How far are we off? 3.6% is what we have. and the... Oh, it's 5% on, the, on their side. So yeah, it's still quite difficult to convert these provinces. That's fine. Portugal have gone off to help our vassal. It's very nice of them. Um, okay, overall they only have about 10,000 men. And they're all here. You can actually see the men they have. So what we're going to do... Is we're going to send a couple men here. To Tadla. We're just going to attach siege. Because we're going to send them where we need them. Aha! Military power and prestige. Good. Uh, we're going to take that and then cancel the mission. So we get a new mission in another year. We should probably send someone back to improve relations with Mazab again. Uh, they have pretty low liberty desire. That's good. Morocco's army is back over here. We might try and just uh, get them. Aha! Perfect! The Iberian Wedding. Ferdinand II, King of Ar Aragon, was married to Princess Isabel of Castile in Valladolid in October 1469. This was a marriage of political opportunism, not romance. The court of Aragon dreamed of return to Castile and Isabella needed to gain needed help to gain succession to the throne. The marriage initiated a dark and troubled life in which Ferdinand fought on the Castilian and Aragonese fronts in order to impose his authority over the noble oligarchies, shifting his basis of support from one kingdom to, another, to the other according to the intensity of the danger. Despite the political nature of the union, he loved Isabella sincerely. Many considered Ferdinand the saviour of his kingdom, a bringer of unity. Others despised him for having oppressed them. Machiavelli attributed to him the objectional qualities of the Renaissance prince. So, yes, we will bind our dynasty to them. So we get the personal union. We do get 30 noble regiments rise up in Madrid, which is fairly bad. But the other option is just awful. So we'll take it. Which also gives us the personal union with Naples. And we get the revolt. Argonese liberties are 
Ooh, okay. That's a new one. They really like us. And they're our rival. Still. Um... Okay. How do we stop this? And they've got a high liberty desire because we have a... Because someone else has a high liberty desire, right? Oh, it's everyone's thing towards the lead. Okay, well, we need to go back to the mainland now, I think. Try and somehow beat these noble regiments. Aha! Achievement unlock. Double the love. Start out with no personal new unions and gain two. And we gained both of them at the same time. How many transports do we have? Seven. Uh, we might try and... Actually, let's try beating up the people at Fez first. Yeah. Good. Got a lot of war score there. We could just end the war straight away and gain, like, war reparations or something from them. One province? Um, how much do we have left here? We'll take one province. That seems perfectly reasonable. We're close to disaster again because we went over the... What's it? Overextension is less than 50%. Okay. Anyway. Need to make one of these core. Well, this one will take the least amount of time, I think. And obviously the rebel uprising from Morocco is getting close. What we'll do is we will harsh treatment it. And we should make Tandir's core. Now what happens if we accept the rebels' demands here? Out of curiosity. Prestige and legitimacy? That's it? Yeah, okay. I'll take it. These men need to stay here. I think it's part of the problem. I was going to go and actually go and fight them, but I don't think that we can, and I think it's much more sensible for us to just try and raise as many troops as we can now. So, our, our army composition's pretty bad over here. Let's try making a new army. What is our ugh, force limit? So we make 13 more. I think we're going to make all of them. Do we just need relative power to leash to go up? We have three of them here. And we need... So I'm doing math. Yeah, we've got 13 more people. How many are making? Four, five, six. It gives us nine. Let's make it ten infantry. And that gives us six more, which means we can make six cavalry. Sounds about right. Yeah, thirteen. That gives us a reasonable army composition, I think, in the end. We might need a few more infantry. Doesn't really matter. Just having another army helps out a bit. Is the, has that changed the liberty desire? Yeah. Okay, I think... Um, I think having that revolt also increased the liberty desire a little bit. So, having it go away was good. Now we have two personal unions. Uh, this is what we control right now. It's quite a lot, really. Um, we should be... How long can it be, is it, till we can actually integrate these people? 50 years. So... Oh, it's not possible to offer this before. 17th of April, 1515. Okay. Which is 50 years, pretty much. Same with Na and the same with Naples, I imagine. Uh, yes. Uh, we'll improve relations with them. We'll just try and keep our vassals happy for just now. What would we gain manpower and core? Cores are going reasonably quickly. Actually, I want to see the cores 
is the main part here. Do we have anything more, like more force limit we can do? We could make more barks. We, nah, we don't really need to. It's not necessary. Okay. Well, at least this stops our um, looming disaster, because I believe you can't have it happen while you're at war. Um, I think that's right. Anyway. The nation of France, faithful allies requesting you come to their aid in the French conquest of Calais against England. England is allied with Portugal, of course. Um, yeah, we might get some land off Portugal, maybe. We'll accept. Probably won't get any land off Portugal, but... Given that we have Aragon and Naples, seems like rather foolish of us to not join in. What is Portugal's navy like? What's their entire navy like? Much stronger than ours. We need to send our navy home. Okay, uh, I've ran over time by quite a bit. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time.